Hey guys, it's Jake with Jake Hoback Knives. Just thought I'd show you the A7. Uh, recently completed this for my wife. Um, it is a 25, exactly 25% smaller version of the A10. This guy here. This is my personal folder that I have uh, experimented and beat on and uh, all kinds of fun stuff with. And I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but yeah, it's 25% smaller. Still has a quarter inch pivot and the half inch bearing system. Um, custom clip, carbon fiber bolster lock on both sides. So milled out the insides of here and added in the carbon fiber titanium backspacer. Um, the blade is about two and a half inches or so and the handle is probably three and three quarter, about there. I honestly don't know, I never really measured it. Um, but yeah, figured I'd show you that. And it fires like a little rocket. It's like a switchblade. Um, and I just did a belt finish on this. Normally I'll hand finish or hand sand these out. And, but my wife liked the belt finish on that. So, so far, she's been really liking it. It's about the perfect size for a lady. It's uh, small. I wear a size medium glove, and it could easily palm that to where you can barely see it. And it fires nice, so she enjoys that. She likes a good flipper. If I can keep her to, if I can get her to carry an automatic, she would. But there she is. Uh, the A10, this is the original from the Terminator series that I did with uh, Alpha Hunter, uh, Chad from the board. Um, this is um, one that I had messed up on, so I'd been modifying it and been carrying it and just all around just beating on it and testing it. Um, as you can see, it's got dents along the spine because I was pounding it with a hammer, a framing hammer through a bunch of 2x4s that I needed to split when I was building my house. Um, it's all got all kinds of random experimenting holes. This right here is just an experiment that I need to pull back out and get this thing working again. I pulled the D10 out. Um, I mean, the lock is completely wore out and I built this after or before excuse me uh, before I got my carbonizer so the lock is pretty much just plumb wore out on this one it's an S35 steel on this and it's just beat but so far it's been holding up I've been uh, not nice to this thing besides using it as a pry bar which uh, broke the head of the pivot off or the head of the screw on the pivot off I just needed to replace that but yeah so don't stab it through a wall and try to hang off of it that may break it off seeing as how they're only 256 screws I don't don't think that they're meant to hold uh, 185 pounds so there she is